I write in a forest. I go into these collections of trees to do nothing but listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 349, December 31st, 2022. I don't know when I'll get back to this page for the podcast. That's what was written, the very first thing. December 31st, 2022. I don't know when I'll get back to this page for the podcast. And today's date is October 4th, 2023. So almost a year has gone by. I assume sometime in 2023, it'll be made possible. Long after Avatar has been in movie theaters. I mean, hats off to the beautiful artwork that James Cameron has invited to the big screen. His love for the planet is felt in so many different ways. But are people truly receiving the message? Do they even care? In the film, it vividly showcases humans who don't put one ounce of love into respecting all living things. I couldn't help but plant my heart in Ukraine while watching Avatar. The struggle to not only save a culture, but the other animals associated. I'm not so sure the Russians give a crap about the birds, the wolves, elk, and wild sheep. What we don't understand is that humans cannot exist without other living things. Yet, through war, corporate business, hunting, and endless amounts of destroying force, the human race finds strength in being the top dog on the decision-making totem pole. James Cameron provides a reminder, but sadly, the masses aren't reading into it. He'll get his money, but the movie will be long forgotten. Where are we in this message-making business that we have put ourselves right in the center of, be it social media, be it in movies, songs, on television, newscasts? We have so much media around us, and yet we can't penetrate what is bringing damage to us. We can talk up a huge storm, but nothing is moving. Look at everything around us. Or, 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 is it possible that we've become that generation that is stepping to the side? Just stepping over here. And those that are making the noise are going to be making changes that we won't agree with, but we don't know our way back to the center of the circle. How do we build up the confidence to become a voice? The president recently talked about this in one of his speeches. Democracy coming to an end isn't found at the end of a barrel. It's in the silence. And I ask, are you part of that silence? I am, even though I do have a podcast, even though I do write every day. But is it loud enough to make a difference? Because it seems like those who are much louder are gaining access to votes that are shocking the core of history. We need the power of all living things. I live in this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I could totally grip what James Cameron was doing in Avatar about preserving all living things. I love it when the hawk is about three or four feet from me and we're just staring at each other. We don't have to speak. The language is in the body. The language is in the spirituality. Where is your moment of connection? Is it on the sidelines? And if it is, how can we get it back over here to the center of the circle? I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.